Hello, nice pals. Welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. What kind of stream? A very special stream, actually, because today we are doing ourselves a little fundraiser in, um, in, in benefit of the uh, EGX Full Ride Fund, which is, um, is not an official EGX affiliated thing, but it is a tremendous initiative put together by a nice man called Dan Ahern. Um, and basically the idea is that um, EGX is a tremendous uh, show for people to visit, um, especially if they are developers who are new to the industry, want to start making connections, want to start sort of uh, building a presence in the industry and just generally talking to people. However, it's in London, which is, you know, can be far for some people. Um, and London is an expensive city and going to shows is an expensive thing. You know, it's, we're talking travel, we're talking accommodation, uh, we're talking potential loss of income if people say, you know, have, um, you know, shifts or, or, you know, jobs or whatever on, on weekend days. So generally speaking, it is it, like it is not easy for people to get to this show if they are uh, from, say, low income or marginalised backgrounds. So, Dan is basically putting together a thing called the EGX Full Ride Fund. Um, the original plan is to cover five successful applicants, accommodation, travel, food, and any other costs that may act as barriers to attendance um, to, to EGX, um, and just in order to get them there, because... Um, if it's good for them and helps them build a career, that's good for the games industry. What's good for them is good for all of us. Um, the fund is currently at 75%, which is 3,685 English pounds. Um, and basically, I'm going to be streaming for three and a half hours until half seven this evening. Um, and we're going to try and smash that goal. Um, because uh, Dan has said if money is raised over the... Um, over the the target then it will hopefully mean that more people can be sent to the show so um i just I, I think it's a great idea i saw dan tweet about it this week and i thought i'd like to promo this so i asked dan if i would be all right uh doing a stream of of, of fundy raising and dan said yeah so uh, also also dan was kind enough to send me assets which i ruined by putting my face over um but basically um, here's, here's the EGX, basically, imagine that I am a successful applicant to the e to the EGX full ride fund, and that's me going to EGX, but it's not, I'm going to be at EGX anyway, um, so just imagine someone else, uh, doing that, just being like, hey, thanks to, thanks to you lot, I'm here at EGX. So, um, over here, I pointed the wrong way, over here, I'll never make it as a weather person. Oh, we've got a we've got a front of fundraising pushing in from the east. Um, tinyurl.com forward slash EGX fund. Um, that is where you can uh, donate. You can also see just general FAQs about what is the full ride fund, who is Dan, why is this money being raised, um, you know, how can people apply, etc., etc. And now, of course, damn it, up here. You've you you've hopefully noticed that we've also got um, frog detective. Carrie Choi says, "Uh, west." No, it's that way. Is oh wait, but I'm mirrored, aren't I? So wait, no, that's if right. If you're looking north as a viewer, that's east going west. So the fundraising is coming in from the east into the west. <laughs> Veronica Matchuk says, you're doing great, sweetie. Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> anyway, right. Up here, I got it right that time. Boom, 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 boom. Um, uh, 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 Aiden Folk says, wait, you've been mirrored all the time? No, this is, no, this isn't, I'm not mirrored, but I'm facing you. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck. Um... Frog Detective, the entire mystery. You may remember before, we uh, we did two of the three cases. Uh, so we've got one case left to do. And we should tie it up. Um, which of course means it's time to play as a Frog Detective, as voiced by Benoit Blanc. 
So, Nevermore says, I'm guessing no Waluigi voice this time. Absolutely not. Although, somebody commented on it after that stream, where I, where I tried to talk like Waluigi for ages. Um, it sounds more like the Circus of Values machines from the first Bioshock. Welcome to the Circus of Values. Come back when you get some money, buddy. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So anyway, money. Uh, come back when you get some money and bang it at the um, the EGX full ride fund. I have turned off, as you may have noticed, I've turned off super chats and super stickers uh, for this stream because I don't want your money today. I want you to give it to the EGX full ride fund. Anyway, let's go be a frog, voiced by an English person pretending to be a different English person pretending to be a Southern American. Got it? Got it. Okay. How's the game audio? You should be able to hear some like burr, 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 some like jazzy brass. Um, just let me know. Uh, I can always turn it up. Audio is good, says Marissa J. Good, okay. Corvus Albright says, Donation haiku for donation haiku time. Good cause to give to with haiku propaganda maintaining the brand. <laughs> Uh, Janky Dadon? Or Dayden? Jan Janky da Dayden? Dadon says, Yo, I'm a Southern American person. In that case, Janky, I'd just like to apologise sincerely for what is about to happen. Case three. Here we go, everybody. <clears throat> Ducks piloting a mech incredibly ineptly says, Wondering if your spouse ever responded to that message you sent a few weeks ago. No, they skipped over it. <laughs> Right, here we go. Frog Detective 3. Corruption at Cowboy County. <clears throat> ma, 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 ma. Janky says, I'm sure it's all perfectly accurate. Oh, no, it ain't. Hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. That's actually very useful. Ah. <sighs> Marissa J says, Johnny, did you know in Greek myth, Chiron was half horse, a half horse, half human doctor. He was the first centaur for disease control. Marissa, please. We're trying to keep people here on this stream, not drive them away. Right, anyway. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. Look around using the moose. Move around using west. So here we are, look, having solved the uh, mystery of the invisible wizards. That's a dog in a coat. That's a crab band. And here we are having solved the mystery of the island where one of the people was dressed like Waluigi. Well, not dressed like Waluigi, taught like Waluigi. Anyway, right. Frog detective. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's me, the detective frog. Oh, we may as well do it. If she's being the frog, it's probably time to do the voice, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Hey, it's me, the detective frog. Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts. My spouse just went past and gave me a funny look. Yes, exactly. Like a manager, almost. Dan Ahern is A in chat, but B says we just hit enough to fund four people. Oh, yeah. That's £4,055, so it's now 81%, 82% of the target goal. All right, let's get that fifth person on board, shall we? Okay. Yeah! Oh, sorry. Yeah! Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes. Haha, <laughs> it's my job to solve mysteries. Haha, <laughs> obviously, I was being dramatic. I don't think she is a great actor. There, I said it. Classic supervisor. Oh, okay. So what's the case about? Babe. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Oh, boo. <laughs> Uh, I, was, I was struggling to get back into the old Benoit Blanc. I'm not going to lie. I know. Bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure. Yeah. Can you do me a huge favour, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, l love. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Just doesn't make sense. Right, here we go. Magnifying glass. S sick. <laughs> now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. Louis Fairman says, how did that rhino get that top over their head? Perhaps they didn't. Perhaps it's like a halter neck or a zip-up thing at the back. Janky da Dayden says, pro tip for accurate southern accent. Dial back the pronunciation just a bit and slur the ends of the words just a bit. So, look through your magnifier with a right click. Mm. Yeah. The thing is, like, when Daniel Craig is doing Benoit Blanc, he really... Just hits words. Anyway. Oh, Janky says perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. Mary. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station and it's all so cool. Like there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes. Seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case! Alright. Loading. <laughs> Let's just check in on the fundraising. We're at £4,133. Of an, of an ideal 4,900. Well, then, the ideal would be to then punt that way over. And we're at 69 supporters. Nice. Good job, everybody. Okay. Now I'm a detective who's also a frog. Let's see, we've got a scooter here. <laughs> detective. Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? Good question. I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. <laughs> You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Dot, dot, dot. Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that really got me. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. Question mark, exclamation mark. As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. That's world building right there. That's world building. I've ordered something special from Whizbay to help you get around. <laughs> oh, is it a horse? <laughs> what? No. Why would you say that? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot. It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? K 
cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you even say that. Right. Sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order, then? Oh, Sarah Burke says, Hey, Johnny, nice to see you. My day is absolute dog doo-doo, so, so it's very nice to have your positive voice around. Hope you have a great stream. All the best. I'm sorry your day's been rubbish, Sarah, but um, I hope it starts looking up soon. Um, at least it's nearly the weekend. Silky Raven says, Oh, my God, this is quite the thing to have in the background whilst trying to work. Yeah, um... I can imagine. Good luck with whatever you're doing. You're doing. I hope you're not operating heavy machinery. A scooter, of course. No, wait. The supervisor doesn't speak like like Benoit Blanc. A scooter, of course. <laughs> Cookie Cat ninety four says scooters aren't valued members of society. <laughs> oh, very good. Right. Sick. <laughs> it should be next to you in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you... Excuse me, you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you will have fun too. I will. Dot, dot, dot. All right, see you. <laughs> Fusion Woman says, hello, happy fundraising, happy frog detecting. Thank you, Fusion Woman. It's really nice to be um, nice to be playing this again, to be honest. It's nice to be playing anything that isn't Marvel Snap, because that has taken over my brain this week. Uh, I've been quite jet-lagged since I got back from Boston on the weekend. And uh, yesterday I just stayed in bed and played uh, Marvel Snap all day. All day, anyway. Um, what did someone say? Corvus Albright says, The anniversary of your channel, brackets, and my birthday are this weekend. Any special plans for the occasion? On Monday I'm going to do a birthday stream for the channel. Um, so look out for that. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, did it, did it, did and uh, happy birthday for this weekend, Corvus. Uh, Michael Kalani says, just gave the EJX fund in your name. Look forward to the rest of the stream. Thank you very much, Michael, and to everyone else who, who has donated. Um, and if you can't donate, that is absolutely fine. Like, you know, it would be a little bit precious of, of me to be streaming on behalf of, uh, you know, an initiative for, for low income marginalized people and yell at anyone for not giving money. Uh, if they're unable, um, if you like, if you are able to like boost it, maybe on socials or or anything like that, that would be great. But really, just thanks for um, thanks for being here. Quite frankly, uh, Marissa says, "Ooh, classic Johnny Ke uh, Johnny Keedini games on Monday. We'll see." I, like, I'm I'm gonna come up with a list of different things after this. By the way, I was thinking we could play Terra Nil because that looks quite chill. Mm. Anyway. Let's. All right, we got a scooter. My very own scooter. <laughs> Sick. Got a scooter. <laughs> That's very hard to say convincingly. Got a scooter. School. School. Got. Got a scooter. <laughs> oh shit! And we can jump. Oh, that's dangerous. Well, get off the tracks, frog detective. That's so dangerous. You don't need to be a detective for me to tell you that. Got, got a school, scooter. Scooter. Metal Magpie says, Yes, just finished watching Aoife play Terra Nil. Looks super chill. Oh, did Eurogamer stream it today? I mean, I'll still play it, but... I've also been playing a lot of uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker because I just love it. Fusion Woman says, you need to stop saying Scooter, starring Lobster Cop. You need to stop saying Scooter, my brain keeps going hyper hyper immediately. I'm German, I can't help it. Oh, Susie Rabbit. Uh, oh, it's a pre-recorded Let's Play It. Thank you very much, everyone. Sherman and the Bandits. Frog Detective, that's me. 
Naka says, get the frog a cowboy hat and poncho now. I, I can't put a cowboy hat on over my um, headphones, but I do have a cowboy hat. Um, Fusion Woman, I, I don't uh, get the Scooter Hyper Hyper reference, but one of my favourite songs in German is um, Universal Televasher uh, by D. Stern, I think. Universal Televasher in studio. It's just a great song. Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. Um, Manishanand says, have you tried Dredge? Heard good things about it. Seems like something you might enjoy. It's out today, isn't it? Um, I really want to play it. I want to stream it because it does look right up mine, but I've not tried it yet. Right. Doo dee doo. Look at me. Up on the ridge. Boing. This is so sick. But there's Lobster Cop, look. Nice Witch says, I wish I was a frog on a scooter. Don't we all? Hey, Lobster Cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. <laughs> right on right on time, Detect... Lobster Cop. We'll do a voice for Lobster Cop. Uh... Why do I want to make him right on time, detective? Yep, that's Lobster Cup. There we go. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cup? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the sheriffless county. Ooh. This town was thriving, detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah, I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway, I've lost where I was going with this. Uh, you said there was something missing. Right, there was something missing. A sheriff. <laughs> Ooh, Manuel Rivera says, Hey Johnny, just wanted to thank you for the lovely streams in the past year. You and the LSPs were fundamental in keeping me motivated. And now I can say I'm officially a published researcher. Congratulations, that is amazing. Um, I hope you've taken some time to pat yourself on the back, you lovely sort. Right, okay. The town realized that for all these years they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position. Ah, oh, detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Do you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. Question mark, question mark. The position has been filled. Oh? I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting. The new sheriff for Cowboy County. Oh, -hoo. Sheriff Mason Mole. Well, well, Faye Gibbons says, what's this stream in aid of? Well, might you ask, Faye Gibbons, what a timely time to remind you of all the, the, the thing that we're doing. As you can see here, there's a, a URL here, tinyurl.com forward slash EGX fund. That will take you to a Just Giving page, uh, which is uh, for the EGX Full Ride Fund, as stated, which aims to basically uh, help provide um, free access, like barrier free access, excuse me, uh, to EGX for five uh, low income marginalized game developers because uh, it can be difficult um, getting started in the games industry if you. Um, don't have funds or you aren't normally able to attend shows um, and basically the idea is to, to help get these people in 
um, by covering their their travel, accommodation, food expenses, etc., etc., and um, just basically helping bring in some people to the uh, to the industry who might otherwise not not get that chance um, because it's good to diversify. It's good to have people from all different uh, backgrounds and basically just give people a chance um, where otherwise they might be left out. Uh, in the cold by just sheer circumstance, which isn't really fair. So uh, that's that's what it is basically. The the fund is currently at four thousand two hundred fifty eight pounds, which is eighty six percent of the target of four thousand nine hundred pounds. Um, so officially, four people are going, but we need to try and drive up uh, donations to get a fifth person in there. So that's why we are playing uh, Frog Detective. There we go. What? Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cub. <laughs> Grumson says, A cab, but Sheriff Mason Mole is an exception because he looks very polite. <laughs> Thank you. Lobster Cup definitely falls under A cab, though. A cab, baby. Right. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No. No. Hmm? N no. No, you cannot. There we go, there's Mason Mole. I'm only doing voices for these three, though. Is there... Uh, is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Dot, dot, dot. Crime mystery. Please solve this. Well, what's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Um, is there really n no additional information? No. But here is your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. Got a notebook! Ah, I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask you a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. Mm, should we pop Mason Mole back in the A cab category? Shall we? Just man bun says, not that polite after all. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! What a legend! Says Lobster Cop. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, Detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. <laughs> Grumson says, We were all rooting for you, Mason. I know. It's tricky. Oh, I, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure. Well, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects who handle the crime scene and the method. Okay. It's an, e it's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. This is like that bit in Point Break where Gary Busey is like, they do, they do really great sandwiches at this place around the corner, go get me two meatball subs. And then what does he do? He gets himself killed! Spoilers for Point Break. In fairness, you've had a while to watch it. <laughs> I think a lot of you weren't alive when it came out, so, you know. But that's what this reminds me of. Hopefully Lobster Cop will get himself shot. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, meal? Yes, Detective, keep up. I am a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea. 
if you would like them. <laughs> nice hook, she says. Oh my god, I was going to watch that for the first time tonight. Had it planned in the calendar for ages. Sorry, nice witch. No, I need a proper meal. Fusion Woman says, Ah, my internet is doing a nonsense, but we got the donation through. Uh, thanks for doing the fundraiser for this, Johnny. It's such a good thing. I agree. It's a very, very nice thing indeed. Cheerful Spider says, Point Break came out in 2015. Oh, you mean the remake? I don't think Gary Busey was in it, was he? Or... 89% of the goal, everybody. 4,378 pounds. Right. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cub. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. <laughs> oh, if fuck you, lobster cub. Oh, open your notebook with tape. There's my notebook, look. Oh yeah, I remember we put the stickers on it ourselves, didn't we? Case three, mystery of the missing hats. Hats missing. Lobster cup. There he is. Motive. There is no possible motive for lobster cup to do this. Need, crime scene map, criminal tool, key, meal. He's a criminal tool, if you ask me. <laughs> hey, it's lobster cup. Number one best detective, I am very jealous, so tall. What else we got? Nothing. Alright. Mirror. <laughs> Whoa there! Whoa there! Uh, scooter. <laughs> Hello, lady who's a rabbit. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you! Can you do me a favour? Um, it depends on the favour. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favour. I don't even know who you are. Smart. Frog Detective has read his medieval literature. It's full, apps like basically most of the problems in medieval literature are down to somebody going, I am a king and I love you, so I'm going to grant you a boon. Whatever it is, ask me, ask me, ask me for a boon and I will not refuse it. And then they ask something really fucking impossible and they're like, oh, I'm so sad. I am so sad that in order to retain my honour, I have to grant this boon. Uh, oh, I'm going to delegate this to a knight. And then the knight's like, the fuck? And then they go on the hardest journey of their lives and nearly die. That is like 70% of Arthurian literature, I swear. I think even cliche, sounds like a cliche, ha, is, um, yeah, Cressy and Detroit's cliche is like, be generous, it's good for you. And then it's like, <laughs> I'm going to grant you a boon. Don't do it. This is a frog detective. I can't just agree to doing you a favour. You can't! Can I ask you a favour? You can ask. Anyway, I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favour? I. You're the best, thanks. I need you to help me break into this book. I will not. Huh? <laughs> Dude, you already agreed to it. See? See? Beware. Beware. I don't appreciate you <laughs> lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. <laughs> I didn't agree to the favor. <laughs> oh, so now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Oh no, Susie! Shit. Su Susie, 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 Su Susie. Now, Susie, don't be like that. Uh, excuse me, Susie Rabbit. Dot, dot, dot. H hello? Dot, dot, dot. What? Oh, it's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flea. <laughs> 
the flake. Why? Ronnie says, gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Susie has it down. <laughs> uh, because you always flake on your promises. I'm going to have to break in on my own now. I, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help? Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh! So you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Repercussion says, is the door to the building also a safe? It looks like it, doesn't it? Also, oh, now you want to help. Typical. I just mean, uh, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hats case. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm. I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. It had big glasses on the top that said, Crime map. Eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Uh, maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? The vault. So, let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, a new idea. Uh, we'll find your ID. I'm going to be honest with you, Detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah, but there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Uh, is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I uh, suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No. Suit yourself? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Theoretically, if I were to help. Yes, thank you, Detective. I'll wait right here. Okay. M mind if I ask you some questions? About that vital piece of evidence, the map. Uh, what about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? Uh, it was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive, so you'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumours say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sounds that sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Mind if I ask you some questions? Nothing right now. Okay. Here we go. Susie. Motive. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Needs fake ID. Yikes. Short stature, shorter temper, ethical criminal, not a big believer in rules. She's kind of cool, I won't lie. What's in here now? Some sort of big horn. <gasps> These sand eels. I love sand eels. They're the cutest fucking things. Like just like, mm hmm? 
popping their heads out from the sand and being like, hey, yeah. they're just great. Although, did you see, it was like, during the pandemic, some aquariums were like, we're kind of struggling right now, because, I mean, because there was a pandemic, but they were like, we need, can we have some volunteers to come in and look at the sand eels and some of the other fish, please, because they're forgetting about people, and they're becoming too anxious, so they're not, they're just hiding all the time when people are nearby, we need to get them used to people again? So all the sand eels were like, oh, fuck it all, and like, they weren't coming out at all, whereas normally, like, if you're in the aquarium, they're like, Hmm? Hmm? And they will sort of pop up. A little bit about sand eels for you. There you go. Uh, right, sorry. Let's talk to this person, who is in an absolutely charming outfit, may I say. Craig, if you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I am not interested in joining. Oh, what's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh, yeah? Where are your credentials? Uh, well, I, I'm a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Uh, just my face. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everyone, everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. That's nice to be in demand, I guess, Craig. Or... The fund is at 90% of the target, £4,450, out of uh, a goal of 4900 with 87 supporters. Good job, you lot. Thank you very much. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public, if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. <laughs> the writing on this one in particular is... Mm, it's very good. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh. The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are uh, you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. I find ghosts quite interesting. Perhaps there'll be something ghost-related on the channel this year. Maybe. Am I making secret plans? Yes, I am. Is it going to be fun? Yes, it is. Anyway. Uh, the mystery of the haunted island. Although... Uh, it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no, no I, I don't know much about ghosts. Wooden Coyote says, I've seen a ghost. Anyone else seen a ghost? How many of you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in, in ghosts? Uh, can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. Uh, the Ghost Spotters League. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, Detective. You can't just spot them out and about. Uh, how does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Corvus Albright says, I'm from New Orleans, so yes, we kind of have to, considering how haunted that city is. Fair enough. 
Uh, da -da 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 -da. John Fire says, I see my share of things. That is quite ominous. <laughs> I've seen my share of things. What a cool way to answer that question. Anyway, uh, do ghosts uh, show up in photos? Uh, it depends, but uh, yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. <laughs> I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. Oh, what did you send in uh, the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast, so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, so, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell me which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. I don't suppose there's a secret society that's dedicated to stealing hats. Uh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, Detective. These societies run deep. I barely scratch the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been, anything you've ever done, it's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. <laughs> EA122 says, Ghosts are great if you're looking for an entity to collaborate on your autobiography. Great gag. Really enjoyed that one. Uh, you'd think so, but it's... Uh, but you think not, but it's true. Uh, how do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Craig's starting to look like a bit of an incel. Uh, is it a secret forum? What? Ha <laughs> Like, is the form also a secret society? Louis Fairman says, I've been ghosted on dating apps. Does that count? Absolutely, yeah. I've never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh, yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. Uh, agree to disagree. Nice Switch says, do you think you could eat a ghost? Yeah, probably. Like, as in, could I could I manage a whole one? Absolutely. They're like so so insubstantial. They're wafer thin. Yum, 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 yum. I'll agree to be right, and you agree to be wrong, Craig. Mm -mm. Okay, sure. That'll do for you, Craig. Craig, motive, one in membership to the secret hats of Sealand, Steelers Society, needs definitive proof of a ghost. Either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy my dis detective disguise, drat. Just wants to be a part of something. Alright, see you later, you fucking incel. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, here we go. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. Uh, that's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm. Oh, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ha! <laughs> You're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, how did you meet Lobster Cop? I nearly went, um, what's his name? How did you meet Lobster Cop? Uh, what's his name? Christopher Walken. These boots were made for walking. And this is what they'll do. 
one of these days, these boots are going to walk uh, right over you. Anyway, oh, that's 97% of the target, isn't it? 4,755 smackaroons in the pot. We're so close to sending a fifth person to EGX as part of the full ride fund. Um, thank you, everybody. You are brilliant. Right. So how did you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff, did you have a, a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. Sus, suspect. Don't like him. Don't like him at all. Mason Mole. Look at him there. Motive. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Notes. A fellow with few words. Previous job helped out. Oh my god, Keith Connery Load says, Is that mole a mole? Angel B also asked the same question. We're through the looking glass here, people. Oh, uh, we got so many more folks to meet in town. Hello! Wendy. G good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. I don't know why. Just wanted to do it. Let's let's go with it. Wait a minute. Ghost Lad says, "Hey, yeah, a hundred and one percent, a hundred and two percent." Oh, you lovely people! Wow, who MD twenty one? Just and somebody posing as the blood pair. Also, have put in a tremendous amount of money. Who MD21 just put in loads of cash to get everyone over the line? That is absolutely wonderful. You lovely people. Um, blood for the blood pair, says D. Lornrow. Joe Humbert has uh, has given a random lady, uh, a random lady, Becca, Corvus Albright. You lovely, lovely, lovely people. Wow, for Pete's sake, gave a massive chunk as well. We've been live for under an hour, and we've helped put... Callum Underwood gave a massive amount. Chris Sawyer. Oh, you absolute delights. Well done, you lot. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, let's keep doing that for a bit, I guess. Let's see how, how, how hard we can punt this puppy. No, that sounds like I'm into kicking dogs. I'm not. Let's see. Let's see how far we can take this. Let's see... See if we can get another person on the books, basically. You know what I mean? Anyway. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Um, Danahern says, you're all so wonderful. You've absolutely smashed it. Thank you so much. The fundraiser closes in 30 days, so anything else will go toward more bursaries. There we go. Right. Keep going, everybody. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Wendy's got a three moon, three wolf moon print of herself, it seems. Oh. Um. Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you will find what you need. Janky says, how good is your Jamaican accent? I don't know, and I shan't be trying. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. Uh, that's a great turnaround. It is one of our many great policies. Such as? 
We are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? Uh, we can guarantee that you'll be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. What happens if I'm uh, dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction, from dissatisfied to satisfied. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. Oh, that clears it up. Uh, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. Uh, the mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. Uh, to be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in future just tell people what you're here for. Oh, uh, yes, absolutely right. I'm uh, not good at communicating uh, quickly. I get easily swept up in a conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. Uh, no, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. From whom? Oh, you seem like an old hand at it. Ha! That's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Uh, can I ask you some questions? New job. So, uh, you just started running the shop. How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but it honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. Oh, that's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of... the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? No. What is it? Do you see these portraits on the wall? They're... They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. It's a nice photo. Oh, sorry. It's a nice photo. Well, yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Ha <laughs> ha, I wish I'm, I'm not much of a painter. Aiden Folks says, veering into Wogan. Don't tempt me, Aiden Folks. Ha <laughs> ha, I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Who's feeling it? Who's feeling it? Remember, the more livelier you get, the more livelier we get. Right. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you or if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. <laughs> okay. Kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Got a photo! Uh, can I ask some questions? Nothing right now. Alright. Bear pick in my things. Good. And then we got Wendy. There she is, look. Steal the motives. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime needs her portrait painted. Notes. Seven months in the biz. Rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo of her, and nobody thinks that's weird, especially not me. All right. Good job lying to yourself there, detective. 
Yeah! This is like um, the skateboarding thing in Metal Gear Solid 2. Just the <gasps> strangest Easter egg. Hello! Wee! Oh my god! Oh, wall of death shit. Yeah, Benoit the Frog! He's got some moves. Hello! No, no, go back. I want to talk to that guy. Right. Hello. Oh, Scout. Right, here we go. <laughs> Dee Lornro says, Froggy, Froggy World. Very good. Oh, Holly Holly World, so good. I need to get back to that. I still haven't beaten the bear who's in the rubber ring. <clears throat> Sherman. Wow, look at you. Oh, your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Maybe it's time to start modelling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Ha! Yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. Scout, what do you want? Scooter! Come here, what do you want? Come here. You have the authority to steal my heart. Goodness me. Come here, Scout. Come on. What do you want? Come here. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Because of your good looks. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, Scout's left again. It's just a little joke. It's quite sweet. I think Scout missed me when I was away at PAX. Because uh, when I got back, I carried her around on my shoulder and she was purring. And then at one point, she just stuck her nose in my ear and was just like... <sighs> like, gave it a really good sniff. Anyway. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like... You could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, Detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them? <laughs> Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humour. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. Haha. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking. Because I'm an outlaw. Oh. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time, because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. Uh, you don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong, he's okay, I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always, excuse me, has always been a lawless land, and that's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes in to your community. Scout, what do you want? I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. Or? Oh? I think he'd like to get to know us carnally. Okay. Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, keep calm and reload, says lol. My cat can hear Scout through the stream and he's answering. Hmm. It's like Scout's on the phone. 
Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgement, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea, do you know? Nope. Figures. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? The mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I, I want to ask, is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Wow, detective. You said the quiet part loud. Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a, a crown out of it. Anonymous says he's minding his own business. Very good, Anonymous. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang. Have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Uh, do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Right, let's get out of here. Nothing right now. Let's go to the saloon. Sherman. Motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Well, well, if it isn't reciprocal. <laughs> Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I suspect that he'd be a good kisser. More like. Anyway. Bye. Boing. Right, there's Lobster Cop. Up yours, Lobster Cop. Right. Well, well, well. An artist! <laughs> Pistol. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. Oh, maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. Right, good to know how long this is going to take. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Haha, <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, Detective. Uh, have we met? Uh, not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Mm. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me, finest artist in all Cowboy County and potentially the world. Louis Fairman says, how is that eel playing the piano? Beautifully, I'd say. Ha ha ha. Anyway, uh, yes, you, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money? Uh, yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you'll be able to afford my work one day. <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an, uh, well, you see, it's clearly a... Who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No, I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. Oh, you were right to click it. <laughs> when it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise, and the screen just said, you just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I have lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but... Are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That which was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. 
Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. Um, muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one, and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. Let's, let's go straight to the muse. Uh, you mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Uh, well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Uh, let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. <laughs> hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I'd be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. <laughs> Oh, he can't wear hats. We're so alike in that. I, I don't look good in hats, really. Your head is a weird shape, says Pistol. Fucking hell, Pistol. I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, Detective. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, well, let's just give him the item. I found a photograph for you to try and paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow! This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. Yes. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. <laughs> right, I, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. Uh, so, will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm going to paint it immediately. Okay. Wow. And voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, I'm so proud of it. Uh, what are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. Emma Benton says this entire game series really embodies the phrase if you let people shenan once, they're going to shenan again. I really enjoy that TikTok where the lady says that and then clicks her way like... Or it might be a stitch, actually. I think it's a different lady. Just clicks her way across her home. It's great. No, it wasn't. Okay. Got a portrait. Bang. Do, 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 do. Portrait. Emma Benton says, I love her. I thought you might have seen it. There we go. It was a stitch, but she was amazing. Pistol. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint? Needs. Amuse and some internet safety lessons. Done. Notes. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. Right. Nice one, Pistol. Oh, hello. Who are you? Bonnie. Afternoon, Detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, I hear about the hats. Must look, I must look like a heck of a suspect. You are wearing a hat. Why is that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. Wait, what? I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy and cooked them up in my stew. Haha. <laughs> Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? Oh, is oh Bonnie's a bat. Nice switch says Bonnie the bat. Oh, there you go. Oh, everyone, everyone, come get your hat stew. Haha. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me bantering Bonnie around here. Awful. Oh, that's a nice nickname. No, it isn't. Pfft. I'm literally joking. Ha ha ha. They just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, ha ha ha. Uh, no, you're getting it? I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I got it now. Um. Anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. 
Why not? Does she sleep upside down and it falls off? My head is a weird shape. <gasps> ah! Pfft. Haha, -ha, I'm literally joking. Ah, bunny! My head is completely normal. Oh, haha. -ha. Mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, LOL. Okay, okay, LOL. Hey, detective! Yeah! I know a lot about Cowboy County. Why is she yelling? I know it all! Why are we yelling? It's a joke, LOL. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Ha ha. Gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Graveyard. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will. Thanks. LOL, I just got the gravely thing. Ha ha. Ha ha. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Ghost photos. Do you know much about the falls here in the saloon? Ha ha. Legend has it they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Let's ask about the hat stew. You didn't actually make a hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think to get the regular customers back. Well, where did they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Oh, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists. Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but... No, you're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. Uh, you're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Uh, sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, Ryan. Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is a stew? Hat stew! I'm joking. Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them here with the stew, keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients, though. Here we go. So, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Got some money! Oh, and around these parts there's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you collect four for me? Oh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Well, it sounds like someone's going to need stew. Carrots money. <laughs> How's the old fund looking? Oh, yeah, 5,144 pounds. That is 104% of the 4,900 pound target with 101 supporters. You lovely, lovely people. Bonnie. There she is. Motive. A practical joke, perhaps. Needs carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes. She's joking. Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Keen boy, Cowboy County historian hates creativity. Yikes. Do, 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 do. Why did the music change so aggressively? Is this koala gonna murder us? Jesus. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? 
Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar-powered powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume... For sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? Uh, the sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Months and weekdays says, are we going Christian Slater for this one? Love it. I hadn't thought of Christian Slater, but it's, yeah, sort of there. Well, I'm the frog detective. And I am just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's uh, nice to meet you. And you. Uh, you sure think a lot about, st about things, huh? I try. But I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes. But when I write it down, it gets so muddled, nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm. Okay. Ahem. Here we go again. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter. Sing a tune. Say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. Their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too. Yet I wish I could be someone new. That doesn't scan at all, Dusty. An outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. The night switch says, snaps fingers. Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's my poem. Uh, it's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Uh, go ahead. Perfect cowboy poem. Uh, do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? <laughs> well, I, no, I thought that was great. Uh, can I ask you some, some questions? Do you need help improving that thing? Damn, detective. Hot diggity dog. I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, from his sack. Now, near the tracks. Oh, near the tracks. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. Towards the store. Towards the store. Cheerful Spider says, I saw the best cowboys of my generation. <laughs> towards the store. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock, stood a newly built office block. There was a necessary... He saw a goblin on a rock. He saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay, sure. Uh, but just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. 
He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. That's cowboyish. A tumbleweed in its place. Ooh, plot twist. Okay. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Back to bed? Back to bed. Back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect, the perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. Oh, it wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do, but every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy off the, of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah, anyway, take them. Okay. Got a writing set, everybody. Writing set. Dusty. Motive. Wanted to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis. Needs just someone to talk to, I think. Done. Poet, icon, legend, friend. Longs to live the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. Yep. Okie dokie. See you later. Can we? Yes, we can. Oh, Christ. Uh, where's she gone? Where's the store? Yeah, let's give over the portrait. Can I ask you some questions? Give over the portrait. So, you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that about me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Ta-da! Oh, it is nice. Wow, it's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? Uh, no charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace course. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, it's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? Uh, I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. Oh, it was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Mm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. Oh, a whole ladder. That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. Uh, if you say so. Uh, thanks. Great. Well, now we need to find... This guy sells scooters! Ronda Dynamite. Ah! Oh. They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. Uh, Ronda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It is time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in uh, doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, Frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Uh, your land? You own this scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, Frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. Uh, Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. 
Ah. Oh, it's Grace Bruxner. The detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Thanks, Grace. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live, because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. Thanks, Grace. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Uh, would you like me to leave? Uh, nah, I'm enjoying having some company. So, uh, what do you do, hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? Uh, no. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Tell him they're ugly. Uh, please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. Hmm? That's the opposite of an outlaw. It's It's got to be the mall, right? Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know, by some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one's going to mess with me. Wow. You sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, uh, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be uh, co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Uh, do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? About being the sheriff. How do you intend to become the sheriff? Kill Mason Mole. That's what we do. Just kill him. Do him in. Duff him up. Put him below snakes. <sighs> That's how we do this. By force, I will simply beat up Mason Mole. yeah. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Ronda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. But what did Mason Mole uh, ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Uh, please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say, like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm, I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies, just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Give. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get those so quickly? I uh, helped compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. But thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be Ronda Dynamite. Give me something. Aha, fake ID for Susie, of course. Uh, you mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope, I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Great, okay, so that goes to her. We need the stew to feed lobster cop, don't we? So we need carrots for that and the flowers. We'll go get the flowers and carrots next. Okay. Got a fake ID. That was almost a bit ABBA then. Got a fake ID. Gonna fork it over to Susie the rabbit so we can get the map inside the vault and solve the crime. Cause we're having frog detective time. Okie dokie. 
That's a cactus flower. Guess it. Ouch. Yikes. I'm not touching that without something to protect my delicate frog fingers. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Oh, Susie. Number one. Uh, where do they sell? Oh, I can buy, well, I buy carrots here, can't I? Let's buy the carrots. Oh, wow. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, let's buy some carrots. Carrots, here we go. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. Got some carrots. <laughs> Louis Furman says, Gimme, gimme, gimme your hat before midnight. Let's find whoever it was that took them away. Oh, Susie, hello. Mind if I ask you some questions? Give item, fake ID. Okay, so uh, before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. One sec. So, uh, here's your fake ID. Yes. This rules, it looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Do -do -do -do. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, Detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye, the detective helped me break into a bank. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, they should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Got a crime map. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Okie dokie. Let's do a little refresh on the old EGX full ride fund. We are up to 105%. That's 5,179 smackaroons. I just donated something, so that should go up a little bit. There we go. Aha! We're up to 5,329, which is 108%. Delightful. Now, let's see. Uh, yep, we've done done that for Susie. Craig needs definitive proof of a ghost. Of course he does. And then Sherman needs a pickaxe. Okay. Well, okay, so where does... Ugh, the fucking mole. We need to meet more people, I think. Hello, lobster cop, you asshole. Uh, I've forgotten... Oh, so are you finished? Oh. Did you find all the things I asked for? What were they again? Oh, no, we need a stew. Blah, 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 shut up. Map of the crime scene. Got tool of any criminal activity, a key, and a meal. I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere near getting all the stuff for Lobster Cop. Emma Blast says Al Cab. Damn right, all Lobster Cops are bastards. Right. A well! Have a look at the well, shall we? Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Look at me. All right. No ladder. Oh, yep. Yeah, here we are. We're down the. Aha! A key. That was easy. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Got a key. Good. That's yeah. Hey, 
Emma Blass says it's not a good decision, Frog Detective. Well, Frog Detective is amphibian. Like, it stands to reason he would want to get in the well. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. <laughs> I love this game. All right. The sound effects are very similar to the Oli Oli World ones, aren't they? Oh, Oli Oli World is so good. Oh, steady on. Frog Detective. Whoop. Okay. Okay, so Craig wanted the photograph. Can we just get the photograph? Because I think she said we can. We were allowed to have a look, right? Let's let's try and just find a photo. Oops. I suspect we might need to finish the stew before we're allowed to take one. Is this a ghost? Ha! I doubt it. It's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colours in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. They've got a paintbrush. Is that is that the protagonist from that weird painting game that I didn't play, but that had the option in the menu for if you had misophonia? Chicory, says Octo-chan. Is that, is that it? That game looks great. Why did I never play it? I think I even got sent a code. Anyway. Fun, though. And they're still alive? Oh, sorry. They're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Ooh, uh, like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend have it had it. This rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put ba banana peels out for people to trip on. Give people wedgies. You name it. Wow, wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Ooh, wait, sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. So not haunted. Nope, sorry. All good. This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's all snappy fresh. He was one of the original gold miners in, in here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Well, Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. <laughs> Thunder Cookie says, are we doing a charity? You bet your sweet bippy we are, Thunder Cookie. We are um, raising funds for the... EGX Full Ride Fund 2023, which is basically a bursary to help provide um, some low-income, marginalised game developers with a full rides to EGX, um, so like barrier-free access, basically. Um, because basically, um, like events like EGX are, are really useful for people in the um, in the games industry, but um, it can be difficult to attend those things um, if, say, you don't live in, in London or you can't afford travel or accommodation expenses, etc., etc. So it kind of, um, it's, it's holding people back uh, or denying them an opportunity that others get, basically. And it's an opportunity that people from low income and marginalized groups absolutely deserve as well. So the idea is, um, uh, basically, it's been set up by, by lovely, lovely Dan. Uh, Danahan, and the idea is that um, basically it's a bursary to cover the the travel and accommodation uh, and food expenses of uh, of people so they can get to EGX and um, like you know make waves in the industry um, when otherwise they may have been un unable to. It is a great uh, great cause, uh, and you can pitch in by um, going to this URL tinyurl.com forward slash EGX fund. You can see all the FAQ information. You can also donate money if you are able. Um, if you aren't able, but you could maybe tweet about it or signal boost it in some way, uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. And hopefully uh, it will make a difference to some developers' careers. 
Uh, how do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, uh, thanks. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Well, that's Craig, isn't it? That's the... Uh, is this a ghost? Who, Mark? Ha ha ha! Nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. Jesus, Bonnie! What? Uh, that didn't come out right. LOL. That's my ex-husband. <laughs> this game is so good. Oh, I'm uh, sorry to hear it. Uh, why did you get divorced? <laughs> Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Bahaha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though, that's not a haunted photo. It has a nice energy. O okay. Yeah. Gee, fucking hell, Bonnie. <gasps> oh. It's all gonna be Twin Peaks. James. Oh, James. I've got a shit subplot in the second season. <laughs> Why did that actually make me jump? Boink. <laughs> Oh, wait, uh, was this one here before? It's Moby! Why does my heart feel so bad? Octo-chan writes, Boit! P-O-I-T. That is exactly, exactly the noise. Boit! I was watching a uh, TikTok yesterday of a, uh, a lady metalcore singer. She fronts the band Deadlands. And she did a little tutorial on how to go blech, like a, like a metaler. Like, uh, hang on. Blech! No, wait, that was crap. Blech! No, I can't do it. I was better at it earlier. Anyway. <laughs> nice Witch says, ew, this picture keeps claiming it dated Natalie Portman. <laughs> Very good. I don't remember. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel, re feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, handsome, yes, cold. <laughs> he's handsome, yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a th No, a man who's... No, it is detective. A man who has lived a thousand lives. He is now to know. There is a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Uh, Bonnie? Yes, detective. I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. Uh, may I take it? Please do, I'd be glad to be rid of it. Got a haunted photo. Great. Ah, it's worse here. All right. The scooter's so good. Hello! <laughs> nice, which says haunted by Greg Wallace. <laughs> Battery biscuit base. Uh, so I took a photo. Uh, so I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Uh, what was Craig? Was Craig just normal? Oh, really? How do you know? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Barney helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. Uh, the rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one... Oh, this one is something else. I can just tell the energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. A 
I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? Oh, that's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the ghost bosses Lee to finally let me in. Oh, if they don't, it's your, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? Oh, uh, what do you have? A pickaxe. Oh, great. Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not, but usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Suspicious. Do people give stuff to you often? Uh, yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. Well, that's okay, I guess. Uh, just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. Uh, for you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Got a pickaxe. Pickaxe? Right, let's go back to uh, the sloth. Who is... It was, I know he's up. Let's go, let's just go this way. There you are. Then a cookie says, oh, is this still the notebook we decorated the first time? You bet it is. Right. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Give item pickaxe. I don't remember how I was talking when I was uh, the sloth. Uh, you mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? How did he talk? This is why I shouldn't do voices for every single person. Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. <laughs> oh, I'll take the shovel for now. Offers open. Uh, maybe after I've solved the case. Yes, detective. Okay. Got a shovel. Who needs a shovel? Shovel. Oh, does uh, does lobster cop need it? I forget. Ah, I hope he didn't do it. That's sweet. <sighs> lobster cop needs crime scene map, criminal tool, key, and meal. Criminal a shovel could work as a criminal tool. But, right, okay, so can we use the... Joe Humbert says, did Johnny donate? I did, yes. Can we use the shovel to get... Ouch, yikes, I'm not touching that again. Without something to protect my delicate frog fingers, okay. Huh. Moles like digging, right? What's up, you asshole? Nope. Mole ain't doing shit. Oh, needs to be left alone, it seems. I feel so, I feel so nosy talking to him. Ha ha. Hmm. I'm on to you, Mason Mole. Ah, gloves. Great. There we go. Oh, these could come in handy. Ha ha, get it? Handy. Gloves. Excuse me. Oh, uh, yes, Sheriff. Those are evidence? Uh, evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll uh, leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they uh, evidence? Timothy Thomas says money donated. Thank you, Timothy Thomas. You are doing a great thing. We're at £5,554, which is 112% of the target. 
uh, which is more than halfway, I think, to sending another person, which is very exciting. Right. Aren't they your evidence? Not yet. Cool. This is so weird. Right, let's go get some flowers. And then finish the stew, and then I think we've got, we'll have everything to give to Lobster Cop, right? Assuming he wants the shovel. Up yours, mole. Da -na 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 -na. Bang. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. Angel Beat says, is Frog Detective being set up? <gasps> Oh my god! A crime map, a key, gloves, he said they're not evidence yet, and a shovel! We're being set up! You're right! Oh my god! It's a frame! Captain Shiny says now they're evidence because you just stole them. Shit! It's a setup. It's a setup. It is! Oh shit, everyone. We better skip town. <laughs> Oh, God. Not much gets past you, Angel Beat. Emma Benton says Sherman will help us. I hope so. Fist of Fury says this is riveting stuff. Very good. Oh, hi. I'm just scooting on past being old and attractive frog and everything. Whoop. Oh, that was actually pretty cool, that one. Huh. Right, more flowers, please. Jesse Cat Production says boil lobster cop. I'd like to. I'd like to crack him open. Eat his soft meats. Right, so there's flour up there. A snack! Very strong and sturdy snack. We just tried to run it over and it did nothing. It. Oh, come on! Yeah! Hello, Scorpion. <gasps> the Scorpion's wearing a hat! Looks like they didn't get all the hats in town. Octo-chan says he's already hard-boiled. Normal lobsters aren't that colour. Well then, who got to him first? Ta-da! Got a cactus flower. We needed four? Do we need four? Let's find out. Bonnie needs cactus flower. Can't right, it doesn't say. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. It's, in a way, it's kind of flattering. Because it shows that there's the fourth flower. Shows Lobster Cop is intimidated by my prowess. But also, up yours. That should be enough flowers. Let's go make some stew. And then get into a stew ourselves bit of a pickle I don't know <laughs> sorry I'm just going to take a picture of Watson who is who uh, frankly looks deceased right now um, she's in her crate but Sort of just hanging out of it. <laughs> she looks, she looks frankly deceased. Um, she's not. I hasten to add. She just lifted her head when she realised I was talking about her. But uh, yeah, it's quite funny. Right. Soups up. Here we go. Yeah, can I ask some questions about the case? Or... 
He uh, managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best detective. How did you even manage that? I uh, simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. Well, not so fast. I've also got flowers. I've just been a flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you told me the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Haha, <laughs> did you? That's so funny. Uh, it's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Uh, ooh, like second-hand gloves? Uh, first and second-hand, yep. <laughs> well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients? I'm, I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Oh, feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec, I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Oh great, thanks. I uh, reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Thanks Bonnie, you are chaos. Incarnate. That's the stew though. Done. Alright. Love you, little sand eel. Alright, let's go. I'm on to you, you son of a bitch. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, oh, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity? Oh, shovel, hmm? I think you could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue? That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? Um, uh, a meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, the stew is clearly for me. Oh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Oh, thank you, lobster cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. We're boned. Fucking lobster cup. Well, here goes nothing. <sighs> Is this my last look at freedom? According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Compels me, though. <laughs> oh well, I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. Oh, great, I found the hats. I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Got lost hats. But we were photographed. We got papped. Oh, shit. Why is it so quiet?
Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. Please read a poem. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello. I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went, back to bed. Alejandro Garcia says, they're going to hang you. Run! It does feel that way, doesn't it? <laughs> Erupts in applause. <laughs> Look at Frog Detective. Wild. Uh-oh. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. I'm pleased to announce... Oh, I am pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. Piece of shit. I'm pleased to announce I found the culp... No, wait. I, I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. Whispering, whispering. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Octo-chan says, I didn't know we were actually playing Fall Guys. Ah! Oh, fantastic. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Murmured agreement. Oh, Wade, it is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second-best investigator, Frog Detective. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, what? I've been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. Oh, what evidence? This... They've drawn eyebrows? <laughs> uh, no, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It is a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? Uh, that's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room for punishment of crime. No! Shocked murmuring. 
An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mall. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh, well, in that case... Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. Yeah, fucking A. This is bad. We got sent to the bad room. Oh, heavens. Oh, there is a laptop in the bad room. That's not so bad. <gasps> no! Just want to go home to sleep <gasps> on. No! The song's nice, but no! I've been in here for far too long. So here I go, just singing my Eleanor Smith says, just rocked up. Is the frog played by Benoit Blanc? You bet your sweet biffy. Uh, surely. No, 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 no. There's got to be... This is this can't be the end. There's got to be a... What do you call it? Epilogue, right? Fair. Yeah, 122 says, Wow, wicker frog. Think about what you're doing. Think. We don't have anyone else to credit, and there's still time left on this song. The following credits on Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. <laughs> That's amazing. And if, if the crops fail again, they'll sacrifice you. No one else will do. Oh God! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> is it? Is it really? I. I. Is this really? Camera operator, gaffer, key grip. <laughs> there's, there's got to be. Come on, there's an epilogue. There's no way they leave it like this. There's no way. Come on. We're getting bust. We're getting broken out of here. Justice for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nevermore says, I mean, the case was called Corruption at Cowboy County, so it delivered on that front. Yeah, agreed. Just you and I. Corvus Albright says, missed most of this due to meetings. Anyone got a TLDR for me? We've been set up, Corvus. We're in prison. frogdetective.net forward slash blog dot html to my loyal frog blog readers it's hour number one of my time in the bad room I know that I am innocent unfortunately because the number one best detective put me here nobody will believe me that's what you get for being second best 
I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. MD21 says, yes, it's a real website. Incredible! I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I'm involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I'm grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective X. Wow. Shit, they're bad. Mystery monkey, this is terrible. Right, so... We're gonna... We're gonna see justice done to Detective Frog here. But first, I think we should take a five to seven minute break. Um, because uh, I've run out of water and I could do with some. And just because it's good to have a little break every time. Oh, man, excuse me. Oh, no. Wow. So, um, you know the drill. I'm going away for five, five minutes or so. We'll call it a tight five. Um, I'm going away for five minutes. Uh, so if you need a stretch or if you need some water or if you're peckish or, you know, like you're too warm or you're too cold or, or what have you, um, then uh, go do it. And I will come back and we will finish this. Um, we'll finish this uh, the b -b 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 game. That's the word. Uh, we'll do the rest of the stream. We've got about an hour and 15 uh, left on the stream. Um, if you're not doing anything um, in the next five minutes, uh, well, why not check out the EGX Full Ride Fund and maybe toss some money that way? It's tinyurl.com uh, forward slash EGX Fund. So, uh, yes, uh, be right back. See you in five.
Was that five minutes? I don't think that was entirely five minutes, was it? Probably not. Well, I'll just... I'll just sit here for a minute longer then before we go back to... to Frog Detective. Shall we? Hello, everyone. You have a minute left, says Octo-Chan. Well, and I'll sit here for a minute. Oh, yeah, of course. Because, I, yes, I remember now. It was eight, 18 minutes past the hour was when I went. It's now 22 minutes past the hour. I'll unpause the game at 23 minutes past the hour. How's everyone doing? <laughs> You're having a nice day? As you might be able to tell, I'm in an odd mood. Not a bad mood, which makes a change. Alan Smith has asked what the P.O. box is. I will past, uh, paste it in. Louis Fairman says, that was not five minutes, I am outraged. I'm sorry, Louis. I was just excited to come back and say hi. Asma Bale says, happy to be able to join and thank you again for being at PAX East. No, my pleasure. It was great fun. Oh, actually, someone said... MGW313 earlier on said, Hey Johnny, doubt you'll ever see this. I've seen it alright, I'm reading it out loud with my human mouth. Uh, but Oxventure has, one of been the few things holding, has been one of the few things holding my sanity together these past few years. So it was really amazing to see a live show at PAX for once. Um, thank you so much for coming. I, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was a... Uh, it was uh, tricky hearing one another on the stage. A, wearing masks and be like with the kind of echoey room but i it was it was a frantic session but it was a fun session uh it will be uploaded on the channel in a couple of weeks i think if um people either want to watch it again or see it for the first time um yeah i had a great time um i don't mind saying that for the first 45 minutes of that stream i was getting my ass kicked like everyone everyone went really hard um like the the regulars were just absolutely fucking with me. Um, it was funny, and I, I appreciate it, and it was a good challenge, and one that I feel like I rose to. But my god, they made me work hard. <laughs> it was fun though, so uh, a weird one, but fun. Hmm. Okie dokie. Right, let's let's get justice. Mystery monkey. This is terrible. I can't believe this. What's going on? Oh, it's all the lads from the first one. I'm reading the latest frog blog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery of, in Cowboy County, but I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Artima Bale says they really did make you work for it. We were all saying that after, lol. Good. Okay, I'm glad that it came across that I was struggling at points. Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. <laughs> of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo! I have... Excuse me, sorry. I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself, says Mystery Monkey. Fucking hell, here we go. We're going to be Mystery Monkey now. Oh my god! It's like, um... She-Ra! We're warriors! Holy shit! Or it's like Transformers. <gasps> Mystery Monkey! Maybe I'll do all the voices Optimus Prime. Or Sailor... Oh, Sailor Moon. Right, I haven't watched Sailor Moon, unfortunately. I bloody love She-Ra. Look after the lab, Mo. Blastar. Oh shit. I'm Optimus Prime. Look after the lab, Mo. I'm no, that's no, that's gonna kill my throat. Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mr. Monkey is so cool.
Anonymous says, I saw Oxventure posted an interview that the BBC did with them. It looked like Mike was sitting behind a GM screen, maybe hinting at something to come. No. Uh, I was sick. <laughs> Anonymous, so Mike stepped in. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but yeah, uh, I was ill. I was off that day. Supervisor, can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone about a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course, how could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realise this is... Excuse me. Highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? <laughs> no. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? No, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Aiden Folk says, what do they do if you're off? Well, we just didn't record the Oxventure that day, but they still went in because they knew the BBC was coming in. So, uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help over, over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? Hmm. The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something as horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh, no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just kind of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. Oh my goodness. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. All right. Shipwreck says, remember catching peaks of a mysterious figure in the previous games? I do. Hmm. This thing goes deep, Shipwrecks. God damn it. <gasps> He'll be visible in these, won't he? Oh, wait. Mystery monkey. Clue detecting powder. <laughs> Is that what they call it these days? How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Whoop! Got clue detecting powder. Detect clues. Left click. <laughs> <gasps> Fonga prance. Well, not Fonga prance. Frog prance. You're wasting it. It's expensive. Probably. That wasn't me doing a bit, by the way, being like, I don't know how much cocaine costs. <laughs> never done it, never will. I'm not like, meh, 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 about drugs. I feel like people are free to make their own choices. But cocaine specifically is really exploitative in the way that it is made, and I think it is immoral. Um, so there we go, that's my stance specific aha, specifically on cocaine. <gasps> Ray P.W. said that handprint had too many fingers to be frog detective. You're right, it's the mole. The mole's been here with his little feet. Oh, I bet I know where these prints lead. Well, well, well. 
if it isn't, going to Lobster Cop's office. Oh. It couldn't be. Oh, it could be. Well, well, well. Hey, what says, have we had the crocane jokes already? Uh, no, not yet. Well, well, well. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? A copy of the detective's notebook. <gasps> Lobster Cop and... And Mason Mole? A note. It reads... Hello, Lobster Cop. It is me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I've done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. A C A B This can't be true. Lobster Cop, the number one best detective, a fraud. I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. Motherfucker. Yes! Let's take the fight to them. There's the flag has the mole on the flag. This ends tonight. Oh, I thought this was a cutscene still. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, so we're at one hundred and sixteen percent of the uh, the goal for the EGX Full Ride Fund twenty twenty three. That's five thousand seven hundred and twenty nine pounds. That is so close to sending an extra person along. The fund is open for thirty days, so do keep uh, boosting it if you can. Wow, this is closed. I wish I had a scooter. Where are ya? Why is everything closed? What's up, fuckers? Howdy, folks! What bring... What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. I can't remember... I can't remember anyone's voices. We don't want any trouble. We hear about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of... Ah, no, I remember this one. Ah, the duality of frog. How can one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of all our hats? A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective, that snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal, it's just not me. I'm you a bandit. Outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. Very true. We've got an outlaw for an in-law. Doesn't matter anyway, Frog Detective is innocent. Heh, <laughs> sure, we all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. 
Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing. Ouch, Ronda. Regardless, regardless, you say it was a mistake. Not so much a mistake, a setup. A reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cup coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? That's right, Sherman, you get back on board. Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. Oh my god, a tumbleweed just clipped through the supervisor and he didn't even flinch. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective there. <laughs> has the sheriff fuck. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in bad room at the back of his sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. <sighs> Supervisor. I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. The clap from my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Fuck you, Mason Mole, you piece of shit. Zaz. Zaz. Looks like he's tucked out after another day of being a mean, nasty liar. I won't wake him. There he is, look. Mystery monkey? A supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room or that anyone would want to visit me. Um, Transgamer27 says, I've heard you do that dummy thick sneaking before, but I don't know it. What's it from? It's, um, it's just a, um, it's a meme of um, somebody just mocked up uh, in Metal Gear Solid, you know the the uh, the com screen thing, uh, sna Snake talking to the Colonel and being like, Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap from my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. And then people kept impersonating it, and then David Hater actually did it, so you can hear the real voice of Snake be like, mm, Colonel. It's absolutely incredible, absolutely remarkable. Amy says, is that what it started with? I don't know. It's what I've seen. But it may, it may have started with something else. But it's fucking great. Just g Google Colonel Snake Dummy Thick or something. Anyway, we're here to bust you out. What? Mr. Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can be. Lobster Cop is the number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. MGW says, uh, 313 says, not sure what kind of results I'm going to get, but I'm going to give it a try. All right. Green with envy, one might say. Rodet says, is that where the Winnie the Pooh alert and the bees came from? Yes. Envious of who? You, Detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, Detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Is that just something outsiders can do? Oh wow. Watson's just let one go and it is pretty hitting this. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. There we go. I've called this town meeting for a very important purpose. Oh, so they've let Frog Detective out. Why? Uh, Frog Detective, there's been a town meeting called You Have to Get Out of the Bad Room. Okay. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I solved, I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? I've, I've lost control of Lobster Cop's accent. 
Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring, da bring down Frog Detective? Gasp. Ha. Huh. What? I? This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go, you can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been telling the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, oh, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. Yes, near the hot tub. I remember. What? I never... Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you are hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not... I... I... Uh, uh... Fess up, yes! You cry, you little asshole. This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective. Ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I I've been number one best detective for so long that I... I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and pass it on to you. I just... Wow, Watson, that smells. I'd just begun to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I, I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work. And so I suggested to, Lob to Lobster Cop that I helped take you down. And I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. I knew this guy was a shit. Hated him from the first case. How did you frame the detective? Nicewitch says, wait, I had to go get food. Has Frog Detective been freed? Mystery Monkey, mate. Mystery Monkey stepped up, threw loads of cocaine around the place and found clues. It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once he had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Uh, wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? <sighs> I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. Oh, but what I don't understand is why you had to put me in bedroom. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. Anonymous says, is Mason Mole Alan Rickman? No. If Mason Mole were Alan Rickman, I'd do it more like this. I'd use as little of my mouth as physically possible. It's a terrible idea. I realise this now. 
My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mull, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. Agreed. Abolish them. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behaviour. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Meat. <laughs> Meat. I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude. Evil. And not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behaviour that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie, and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Uh, thank you both for the apology. Well, say, now that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh, Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... Mystery Monkey. It erupts in applause. Wow, congratulations, Mr. Monkey. Uh, what an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move it. You can... You... Fuck it. You can move into my office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective again. This calls for a celebration. Uh, Barnet, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole. Yeah, you're invited too. He's too good, he's too good for this world. Lord bless him. Yeah, that's when they dance. Dun, 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 game by Worm Club. There we go. Da, 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 da. Look at them all go. I would have. It would have been nice if they'd appointed a new sheriff. Well, they never needed a sheriff, did they? So it didn't need to be thingy. But they kind of all dropped off. Dropped off at the end there. Why isn't Frog Detective on a on a date? You know. Absolutely fantastic. Just great work. John Fire says, Johnny, did you see what Dan said? It seems like he can send six people now. I didn't. That's amazing. Hell yeah. Just looked at the fundraiser after fundraiser after spending some time cleaning, and wow, I think we might be able to send six people now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well done, Skelly Pals. You lovely, lovely people. What a game. What a game. 
Absolutely phenomenal. Right, well, uh, we've got 40 minutes. <gasps> Two weeks later. There we are, look. <clears throat> a frog detective crime solving agency, a frog detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, uh, frog detective? Uh, yes, Mr. Monkey. Happy birthday. Oh! Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. That's... Good on you, mystery monkey. Wait, wait. Is it a surprise birthday party? It's not. <laughs> Hey, detective. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? I don't know, it's just joking. You've got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3. That's the name of the game. How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. We'll do. It's a doozy of a case of how are we going to eat all of this cake? Oh, heavens! Surprise! Wow! <laughs> What's everyone doing here? <laughs> well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island! I haven't heard a ghost in ages! I forget what his voice was, but that's it now. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked! That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Whizbay. Oh, I... Look, Grace is in the back. The Game Maker. Here comes the fucking postie. Special birthday delivery. Martin was Waluigi, that's right. Well, I'm not doing that again, shipwrecks. Oh, is that for me? Open it up! <gasps> no! No! Happy birthday! Oh, wait. Oh, well, what is this? That's easy, Detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. <gasps> he cry! He do little solitary tear! Oh! Oh! Da da da! Dee 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 dee! Just incredible. Oops. Okay, well we've got just over half an hour, so we may as well do a bit of Terra Nil. Or I could cut up spaceships. Ooh. You know what, I'm gonna save Terra Nil for a full stream. Let's... Just... Johnny can play Little A Hard Space Shipbreaker as a treat. We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League! Yay! ExoFreshX got a sponsorship deal. Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. From Noodle and Barney. 
Date! 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 Thanks for our date, I had so much fun! XO Sherman. Yeah! So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading, says Bernie. <gasps> I'm the sheriff now! I didn't even have to beat anyone up from Ronda Dynamite. Yay! This is great. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Best, Ralph. We are not the same guy. Larry and Lobster Posty. Yeah, one of you's an, an asshole. First day of cowboy school for Dusty. Employee of the month at the post office, Mason Mole. Cool, I guess. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, Koala. There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea, Orbit. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third, says Finley and Martin. Strong. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, says Mary. That's nice, I suppose. I broke my leg. Sent from my phone. <laughs> Noddy. Oh, poor Noddy. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here from Victor. That's disgusting, Victor. You should get out of there and clean it. Finally met my hero lobster cut. I mean lobster posty. Much love, Susan. What a great game. What a great game. Octo-chan says the dev that Noddy is based on actually broke her leg. I understand. Right. So much fun. Hmm. The. At the. End. Excuse me. Cracking, absolutely brilliant. It is the end, right? Absolutely phenomenal. Incredible stuff. Well done. Well bloody done to that game. Let's cut up spaceships! Installing Microsoft Store? This might take a few minutes. Why? Welcome to my desktop, everyone. And welcome to Hard Space Ship Breaker! Should be able to fit in... Oh, a couple, hopefully a couple of shifts. Shifts are only 15 minutes long, though. Um, well, sorry, I'm 15 minutes long and I've only got half an hour and then I have to be at my neighbours. In fairness, they're only down the hall. So I could be two minutes late. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so the EGX full ride fund is at 116%. 5,754 pounds. Which is pretty great going. Well done, you lot. For um, helping get it over the line and then, then some. Okay, so if you've never played this game before, or if you've never seen this game before, basically, um, my name is Sergeant Orbit, as it says up here. Uh, I cut up spaceships for a living. I'm paying off my billion dollar debt to the Lynx Corporation, who are the people who flew me out here. Um, and I just bloody love it. And I'm getting, I'm getting all right at it. Uh, I've upgraded my gear a fair bit, but I'm also just sort of used to cutting up some um, ships. Carrie Choi says, did you finish... I've fucked up your username, haven't I, again. Carrie says, uh, did you finish the story or pay off your debt? Uh, no, not yet. I've got to the bit where there's like a middle management guy who's just an asshole. He's like an inspector or a supervisor or something. But uh, no, I sort of didn't play it for a while, and then I did. Look, I've got, a little, I've got a little bunny that sits on top of my computer now. That's nice. I've got my own ship that I'm trying to fix up. Um, anyway, let's just double check. 
Ooh, I need to repair. Oh no, my cross spectrum scanner is damaged, but I don't have any repair kits. I will buy them at the start of the shift. Anonymous says, I cut up spaceships for a living and occasionally yeet myself into the recycler. I actually haven't done that in quite a while. Thank you. Right, so at the minute we're cutting up the Zealous Oberon Cruiser, which is a, a station hopper transport. We'll continue with it just because uh, there's loads left to salvage. I love this game. We need tool repair kits. Let's pick up a few of them. Let's pick up some thruster fuel just anyway. Ellen the Smith says, speaking of finishing things, did you ever finish Strange Horticulture? Did it keep being good? I never finished it, actually. I really should have. Here's a bit of a uh, spaceship that I didn't tidy up yesterday. That can go in the recycler. No, the processor, rather. Aha! Severin Tiger says, oh, you should. This is the problem with streaming for a living. I mean, it's, you know, this is a real my diamond shoes are too tight sort of problem, but uh, I try so many different games that I don't always get the chance to finish them up, you know, and there are things that I really desperately do want to finish, uh, but just haven't. Um, but that's okay. Right, um, let's see now. Do, 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 do. I'll just bung that in there. Jersey Cat Production says, love hard space, hate salvaging the geckos though. Is this a gecko that I'm doing? Yes, I've never done a gecko. Um, the central frame is too big to just drag into the furnace in one piece. Oh, that is annoying. Also, I've got... There's like a bit of... There's a bit of uh, stuff that needs to go in the furnace here, but also stuff that needs to go in the processor, and it's quite annoying. You know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to throw it in there with a tether. Can't really be bothered to separate the two things out. Here's a fume chute. That needs to go on the barge. So this is just a lovely... Marissa J says, how know where different pieces go? So, when you... You see if I mouse over this, it tells me what it is. Fume shoot, and it says barge. So that's the barge down there. We need to throw it down there. These are aluminium panels. They need to be on the furnace. Meanwhile, there's a waste disposal unit here. And that needs to go in the processor. But it's sort of held down right now. So what we do is we get our little cutter here. Oh shit! Uh-oh! Now what I did there was I accidentally cut in to the um, into the ship and uh, what I should have, I was trying to show off, I should have just used the lasers to take this thing out but I used the slicer uh, and I depressurized the um, uh, an internal part of the ship, which was which is a whoops from me. But eh, I had to depressurize it somehow. I guess. Oh, I do love this game. Carrie says, "Lol, I was going to say you had the slicer. I was showing off, like a silly." Yep, that's damaged, isn't it? Oh well. Oh yeah, and I've already done the... That's right, I've already done the uh, power unit. Oh look, turns out I could just get in anyway. <laughs> ah, but is that... So this is the transportation bit, as you can see. Here's the ECU, I've already done that. That's the environmental control unit. And the reactor is like, oh, it's through here. So you know what? Maybe I will actually go back and just cut a hole in that panel. Yeah.
Now there's more stuff to just lob in the processor, really. But it's just a chill time. Like, shift to 15 minutes. Um, it's satisfying to sort of just earn a chunk of money. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I just like it a lot. You know, I'll tell you what. So we've got the reactor down here. But uh, when we remove the reactor, it'll start melting down. So we need to get it onto the barge very, very quickly. So the best way to do that is by opening up the ship uh, by removing these panels, which is what we're going to do. We want to expose as much of all of, all of this as possible. It's just a, it's really nice and methodical. Crinspec Vanna says, have you done a ghost ship yet? I haven't. Um, it sounds interesting. Now let's see. It's like, maybe it's because I, I only play it every so often. I'm not like hammering it. Um, now, have I actually removed the fuel from these nacelles? Guess we'll find out. Um, <clears throat> it is taking me a while to um, to complete this game. But I love it, is the thing. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh. Yeah, you're going to make it onto there? Yeah, you are. Tell you what we'll do. Set up a tether. Uh. Octo Chan says, Are there ghosts in this game? I mean, I hope it's not literally a ghost ship. Other Nought says, Who amongst us is not um, uh, not up for the occasional spookening? Yeah. Sure, but like, I don't want there to actually be ghosts. This game is chill, normally. Oh, a credit drive, that's useful. Right, okay, we need to start thinking about our approach here. I think we're going to need to pull this out the top, which means removing this top panel. I am planning... Not actually ghost creepy AIs. Oh no. So I'm, I'm I haven't filmed the first episode yet because tax tax packs took up a lot of my time, sort of the planning and then the doing of. Ah! But uh, for the highest tier of um, patrons, because I've been looking for something to sort of replace writing an RPG every month, I'm going to start. A series where I just play horror games um, and scare myself because I just think it'd be fun. Uh, and then after you know a time limited period, those videos will go up on the channel as per normal. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess this counts as an announcement. Uh, I'm making a horror series where I play horror games, and I'm going to call it Eep. So suggestions for games, very welcome. That was processor, not barge. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at it down there. Can I fetch it? I can't. Oh, Emma Benton says Subnautica. No. Sorry, I, I'm not normally sloppy about where I put stuff. Um, like this in the processor. But streaming does things to my brain where I stop paying enough attention. Oh, I can go get it. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Jamie Christensen says, Dredge, though? I just want to play Dredge. Maybe we can... Oh, you can go all the way down. Oh, look at that! Wow! I had no idea. At Dead of Night by Baggy Cat Entertainment, says Marissa J. Marissa J, excuse me. I've never heard of that one. Come on, behave, Johnny. Get the thing. Got it. Right. 
Oh, I didn't I didn't pull the light off, did I? Oh no. Shit. Another thermal spreader. Little heat sink, basically. Dead at Night is an FMV game. Sold! Lucy says Dredge is cool, but not horror game scary, I don't think. Right, well. Well, then. I do really want to play it. Because um, it's out now, isn't it? Uh... Thanks, Weaver. I discovered the soundtrack for this game is on Spotify the other day, which made me very happy. At Dead at Night. Sounds good. I don't know whether to do it as like a series, like where I play through the whole game, a bit like Presny Chiodini, or just to make it a different horror game each time. Jury's out on that one. Okay. How does one even... I don't think I'm going to pull the reactor on this shift. But I'd like to know what the best way to... Aha! Aha! That's right. You cut in through here, don't you? And you can pull it out that way, I seem to remember. Scary, 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 scary. Because you don't want these things to, to melt down on you. And for that reason... I also need to flush these thrusters. Oh no! Unpowered, did I remove the power cell? Shit. Yeah, that's unpowered. Shit, okay. Well, then I'm just, okay, I'm just gonna have to pull the reactor. Is the power down? What did I do? Silly. Crap. Full playthroughs would be nice, as Amos scripted. Yeah. I don't hate it. Give it a bash anyway. Hang on. Oh, God. I need to go the right way up. Oh, not now, oxygen. What do I have to breathe? Oh, the whole ship, ship has drifted quite alarmingly close to the furnace, hasn't it? Right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Christ. Okay, well, let's tell you what. Let's solve the oxygen problem for now. Silly me. I need to watch my tether usage. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. It could have been worse. This bit's quite bad. Oh, it's because it's caught on the thruster. Shit. Shit. Ah, uh, where? Uh, I fucked up the flush thing. I've powered it down. I'm tempted to abandon this whole ship, to be honest. Yeah, I might just. Might just do that. I'm not, I don't want to pull that reactor. Whoops a daisy. Well, it means we can start an entire new ship together. That's fun, isn't it? For the 15 minutes left we have on this game. Oh, do I even have time to do, an, do another shift? Blow it up? I don't want to blow it up. Ah, let's just call the shift. Damn it. Well, I feel silly. Other note says, ghost ship, ghost ship, ghost ship. I don't know if I've actually unlocked a ghost ship. Let's find out. Mm. Oh, no, I did. I bought repair kits at the start. I bought two repair kits at the start of the, um, of the shift, the last one. Bing, bing, bling. This is your morning wake-up call. Okie dokie. Right, we're going to sneak in a shift. I can be two minutes late to my neighbor's house, that's fine.
All right, let's see what we got. Uh, Gecko, Mackerel, Station Hopper, the Persephone. I don't think I have ghost ships yet. I don't. Javelin, Heavy Cargo. I like doing these ones. These are fun. Let's see this. Right, quick fifteen, and then we'll um, then we'll we'll get her done. Oh, but I need to feed the dog before I go out. I'm only going down the hall. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hopefully they're not watching this. <laughs> right. Oh. Cut grade three. Shit. Uh oh. Fuck. It's higher than my cut level. Ah, oh, shit. Demo charges. I don't have them yet. God damn it. Ah. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. I've got it. I've, I can't. For some reason, playing Hard Space Shipbreaker on the stream cooks my noodle. Cooks my little little head. So it does. What can I play for 15 minutes? I play. Cool enough. <laughs> Not split gate. Let's have 15 minutes of Vampire Survivors and then we'll call it a day, hey? We could do Cultic. No, nah, Vampire Survivors. Oh. Goodness me. Silver Comet says Hades chance begin. Hades is good. It is bloody good. I've finally rolled credits on it. I've not hit the epilogue, but I've I got to the credits, which is fun. Right. Uh, let's be Poe with his uh, garlic that looks like a nutsack, shall we? Uh, what are we going to do? Inlay library. The bones. We've got to go to the bone zone. Are you kidding? Oh, what the hell? This is new for me, I think. All right, fine. Uh, fire wand. So, yeah, thank you all so much for, for A, watching the stream, but also being so generous and giving such a huge chunk of money uh, to the EGX Full Ride Fund 2023. Like, it's very nice to know that we've helped get some people to EGX when they might, you know, wouldn't have been able to attend otherwise. So that's great. Um, the fund is still open for 30 days. So share it around if there are people, um, people you think might want to apply or you know if you know any devs uh, who might fit their criteria or other people who might want to donate it'd be really really great um, and it'd be very nice to um, uh, it would just be yeah really bloody great to, um, to to help get people there let's do the fire wand It's been a lot of fun. And then uh, on Monday, it will be... Um, we're doing a stream for the channel's second birthday. Because on Saturday, which is the first, uh, it's going to be the two two years since I started doing this. Which is... it's That's gone fast, but also it feels like a lot longer. Um, so we'll be playing some games. Maybe play some Terra Nil. Um, we'll just we'll play some nice stuff that we like, um, and we'll have a fun time. Emma Button says, "Oh my God, has it really been two years?" Oh, it has. And you know what? I don't actually. Actually, I don't know if the accumulation of grey hairs has accelerated or slowed down compared to when I was working at Dicebreaker. But uh, let me tell you, this the chin bit of my beard is definitely going grey, uh, in no uncertain terms. Um, but yeah, so we'll be we'll be celebrating that, and then obviously I'll be streaming again on Thursday. I'm excited to get back to streaming on Mondays. It was really lovely playing D and D with um, the crew of Idle Champions Presents, but I haven't streamed myself painting 
in months now. Um, so while I'll be doing video games on Monday, it's going to be nice to get back to streaming streaming a bit of the old painting, especially since I feel like I've, I've, I've stepped up my painting recently. Um, so that'll be nice to do on stream. And yeah, just, you know, off, off we go. We're starting year three of, uh, of titting about together on, on YouTube and Patreon, which is absolutely delightful. Um, and I'm very grateful to you all for sticking around. Because I do talk some bollocks, don't I? But it's um yeah, it's all been very, very lovely. I didn't I didn't know if this thing was gonna work or not when I um started, so it is good. Aiden folks says I seem to remember there's no healing on this level. Uh oh, well that Pomerola's done some alright work for me, hasn't it? Ronnie, that is a niche joke. Ronnie says, uh, oh my god, we finally get to work towards a handwriting license. Get us a lovely red pen instead of a pencil to write with. Oh my god, the red, the red handwriting pens. I hated those when I was a kid. I absolutely despised them. Um, I, and to be honest, I used to use a fountain pen when I was in school, and then I was like, no, biros are the shit. Partly because I love the um, feel of the other side of the page, but my real favourite pen, my favourite pen in the whole world, I've been using these almost exclusively for the last nearly decade, are V7 Tech Points. This is so dull. Hang on. It's these little puppies. It's a, a, a V7 Tech Point, 0.7 millimeter, like gel nib. Oh my god, just incredible. Mmm, a delight to write with. I just fucking love him. Ah. They're just lovely, so. Snow Ninja Sandcat says, Okay, Johnny, I want to see you max out garlic. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have time because we've only got sort of five minutes left on the stream and then I need to feed my dog and then I need to go play Arkham Horror with my neighbours. Um... We're continuing a campaign. I'm very excited. I'm playing as Nathaniel Cho, the boxer. Um, but this is, I mean, this has been a bloody delight. And also, just thank you again so bloody much for um, for the for helping with the EGX Full Ride Fund. Uh, I just think it's such a cool thing. Like, when I saw it was, you know, that Danahome was doing this initiative, I was like, that that's fantastic. And I wanted to get, um, just wanted to, wanted to pitch in if I was able. And, um... It turns out you lot are really fantastic and really bloody generous. Um, and I like to think that we have made something of a difference today. So well done, you lot, frankly. Um, and uh, I will be at EGX this year because there'll be Oxventure shows, of course. Um, maybe we'll try and do a, a Skelly Pal meetup or something. Um, we'll see how it goes, you know, in terms of like how everyone's feeling with masks and all that sort of thing. Because like going to PAX. It was really nice. People were really masked up a lot on the show floor, but it was also, uh, it was quite intense being on the show floor because I was like, oh, wow, this is a lot of people. And it's also the last show I went to before lockdown happened and all that kind of stuff. And so I found it quite intense. Um, so we'll see what the general feeling is like. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. So yeah, um, it's, 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 an, it's a good day to be a, a Skelly Pal. I think. Silver Comet says, I was looking at going to see Amigo in London this year, but to be honest, I was worried. You think it was a stalking attempt? I, it's a gig. You can go to the gig if you want to go to the gig. I don't know if I'm going to go. I haven't bought a ticket yet because uh, I get really anxious about gigs these days and I never know and like if I'm going to make it or not or if I'm going to like get too scared on the day. So there's every chance I won't be there. I'm thinking about not going, but then I've never seen Amigo the Devil do a full band show. Anyway, right. Shut up, Johnny. Um, da -da 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 -da. Um, I should probably start wrapping this this little stream up. So, with all apologies to Poe, um, yeah, I think we'll call it there. So, thank you everyone for this this delightful bloody stream. I've had a lovely time, um, and thank you again for for all of your support for the um, 
for the EGX Full Ride Fund. Um, again, uh, if you haven't checked it out, you can see like a um, FAQ on all of the all of the things you need to know about, like what it is, why it's happening, and why it's it's a tremendous initiative. Um, and you can donate if you are able. If you aren't able, but you um, are able and willing to give it a signal boost, that would be amazing. Um, just because I think it would just be really nice to help get some some devs from like low income and marginalized uh, groups to 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 the show um and i i will be there also so um that would be nice so yeah thank you everyone i hope you have a lovely rest of your day i will be back on monday and we're gonna have ourselves a little birthday party um last year i put a, i stuck a candle in a cupcake and i bought a tiny bottle of prosecco wanting to like boof pop the cork and it turned out to be screw top so the bar's set quite low in terms of uh party quality so it should be a good one we should have fun so i will catch you then so uh tinyurl.com forward slash egx fund um that's a last shout out from me do check it out i personally have a um what do you call it a patreon it's patreon.com forward slash johnny chiadini um if you want to and are able to support me directly through that that'd be very much appreciated because it means that i can pay my bills and keep doing this for a living um but really just thank you so much for for being here and just chatting away and just generally being wonderfully supportive you are all lovely people thank you for being here um give yourselves a pat on the back for doing some good today and uh yeah have a good one bye thanks for watching you lot are lovely See some of you at EGX, maybe.